Let's begin now. Here with Amy Kington, director of the Bristol City Community Trust. Amy, just give us a little bit of background, what the actual trust does, how it works. Yeah, um, Bristol City Community Trust is an independent charity that uses the power of sport and the strength of the Bristol City brand to go out into the community and do some really heartwarming things. We use the power of football to improve health, social inclusion, education. Uh, we work with 50,000 youngsters every year, so our participation strand is really strong. Uh, and we also uh, look to develop coaches and leave that lasting legacy in the communities that we serve. I'm with Ian Parks, who's the Head of Education here at Bristol City Community Trust. Ian, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about the Diploma in Coaching. Yeah, um, we have two courses here at the Trust, um, one of which is the Diploma in Coaching, Coaching Community Settings. Um, it's run in conjunction with Bridgewater College and ProDec Education and it's for students who want to be a professional coach. It's students who leave school and they think, yeah, coaching's what I want to do, it's where I want to be, and it gives them a perfect grounding to become a level one, level two, and even then a level three coach to go and do whatever they want as a professional coach. Do they need to have a certain ability within the sport itself? Um, obviously, we know from experience that you don't have to be the best player in the world to be the best coach. We've seen that with the likes of Mourinho, Villas-Boas, etc. But having a knowledge of the game and enjoying the game, because being a coach you, on the course you will do it all day every day. So you've got to enjoy the game and have a knowledge about it, but it's not essential that you're the best player. Having said that, there are playing opportunities within the course, so although you're there to learn to be a coach, um, there are playing opportunities to represent the Bridgewater College and also Bristol City against other teams on a Wednesday in 11 aside games. With Billy Downs, who's one of the lead coaches here at the Bristol City Community Trust. Billy, walking football behind you, what's that all about? You come down to the ground, walking football, playing football, but you just got to walk. What's the criteria? Certain age group? Um, yep, yeah, age group's got to be 55 and over. Uh, we play every Tuesday down Ashton Gate at 11 o'clock. It's only £2 to do the session. Um, you get a cup of tea and all that at the end of the session so you can have a chat after as well. Simon, where did you hear about this? Well, I think I first heard about it on the city website because I get the emails. But uh, the first d date planned was uh, before Christmas and I couldn't make that one so I came to the one straight after and have been here ever since really. What do you find so enjoyable about the, the whole thing? Well, it's football, really, and this is like a chance to really play again, but to our sort of fitness levels, really. This is really important because we don't want to be pigeonholed into only providing opportunities for young people. Clearly, young people are our future fans, but we can't neglect those that are already supporting Bristol City. And so it's really important that we provide opportunities for, you know, those that are perhaps a little older in age uh, to still come and have fun, um, make friends and just have a jolly good time. Uh, and this programme obviously helps to achieve that. Chris Stenner from the Bristol City Community Trust. Um, Chris, where are we and what are we looking at at the moment? Um, we're at St Paul's Leisure Centre at the moment. Um, we've got the Year 2 Scholars uh, taking part in futsal, so they're training at the moment, ready for the game tomorrow. It's a little bit different to the fibre side that you see at the goal centres. Um, it's indoors, as you can see. Um, it's on a small court. The ball's a lot smaller and heavier, so it's a less bounce. So the players need to be a lot more skillful with their touch and their play. Um, it's a fast-paced game as well. The keepers have only got four seconds on the ball, and from the kick-ins on the side, it's only four seconds. So there's no rebound boards or anything. You kick it back in, and you get playing straight away. So Aaron, just finished the session of futsal training. Tell us what it's like to play. Um, hard much more harder than football, uh, it's quicker, um, harder ball, it's more technical, but more enjoyable I feel. And I'm joined here by Chris Penny, who's one of the teachers here at the Bridge Learning Campus. Chris, tell us what the community project brings to the school. Uh, well, they've been working with the school for about sort of five or six years now, um, and so we have kind of regular coaches that come into the school on a weekly basis, and uh, they run a mixture of, um, of three things really. They offer 
uh, a lunchtime club um, where they'll come in and, and run active lunch times with some of the children and, and do some sort of dedicated football sessions with them. Uh, they also run some curriculum sessions where they'll be um, kind of supporting the teachers in teaching football. Um, and they also run some after school clubs. Brady, what have you been doing so far? Um, playing handball is the best thing I really because you get like mostly you get fresh air all the time. There's always challenges around every corner, no matter what we do. But um, in terms of getting everyone included and um, you know being very inclusive in the way we coach is um, something that each coach does in their own sort of way. So we try and get everybody involved as best we can. And um, there's certainly no struggle with the lads here today. They absolutely love it, so that's absolutely fine. We don't get much opportunity to play football in school, and this really helps because they've created the opportunity to play. And yeah, it's really beneficial. Player Pathway Centres have been set up across the city to provide an opportunity for youngsters to come along and enjoy football in a really fun, safe environment. Doesn't matter if you're not already part of a team, but it's a great way to fall in love with the game. Obviously for those players that want to go on and uh, achieve excellence and reach the, the highest possible level, there's an opportunity for, for them to be selected by our academy. We are, in a sense, the, the kind of social conscience of football. Um, so we're, we've got serious values that kind of underpin everything that we do. And we want to make sure that we're innovative, that we're dedicated to the cause, uh, that we are, you know, inspirational, um, not only in the individuals that work in the trust, but also the services that we provide. Um, and absolutely, you know, a great sense of togetherness. Um, so we want to unite the fan base and unite communities and make sure that people feel like they are connected to the trust and also the football club. You can access our website at www.bristlecitycommunitytrust.org or you can contact us by telephone. We've always got staff out and about in the city so if you see us please come and say hello. We're always here on a match day. You can see us in the community park uh, that has got inflatable pitches, target cages, speed guns and skills challenges. So if you want to come along and, and, and find out a little bit more about what we do, either visit our website or speak to us in, in person. We'd love you to get involved. Hey, you